Coco for five says you should once again correct Sven as he gets the history of Kiwi Farms completely wrong. Um, normally I would not play a video for five dollars, but I know who Sven is. I know that he's fucking recorded, and every time I've been asked to comment on one of his statements, it has always been funny. So let's listen to this um, initial reaction. Let's go. Uh, I mentioned Josh Moon in passing before, and I guess before someone sends that to him and he, and he cries on the internet about it, I think that's the name of his show, Crying on the Internet. I hope he does cry. Well, I, he does. I but it. I was specifically, I didn't, I was specifically mentioning. Man, with IQs like that, it's no wonder. It's no wonder why the white race is on the up and up. His show's called Man at the Internet. More like crying on the internet. Bam. Another win for the white man. Uh, the... The side of free speech that like <laughs> makes a good case for censorship. I was referring. I wasn't. I wasn't actually re referring to his like doxing site where he was doxes people yeah. and like hosts their well, docs yeah, that's forever. Not free speech. What I'm saying. That's not even what I was referring to. I forgot to mention. I was referring yeah. to the whole reason that site exists is because they were trying to. The whole like world was tastefully trying to remove the uh, Brent and Tarrant massacre video from the internet. Like, there's no reason to host that. Yeah. That doesn't. Um. The Brenton Tarrant shooting in Christchurch happened in 2019, I want to say. The site was started in 2013, and it had years of history before I ran it. Oh. That's, that's like a retarded opinion. Like, one of the most retarded. Like, a, an opinion that's so fundamentally fucking retarded that someone who talks about the Kiwi Farms and claims to have, like, like insights to it being a CIA operation for, like, info laundering should know that the site has been around for 11 fucking years at this point doesn't serve anyone any pur that doesn't serve any purpose for anyone no one needs to see like what that guy did it was horrible like regardless of what you're i mean I his these guys were like neo-nazis i don't know anything about these guys isn't tds like the 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 daily stormer why is he saying that nobody needs to see the brenton tarrant massacre correct me if i'm wrong what is the right stuff i don't understand why don't they support brenton tarrant he, like, cleaned out a mosque of, like, Islamic radicals, like, recruit for, for ISIS. That's, like, the whole point of it. And they're going to they're gonna whinge about it? I don't understand. I, I Honestly, I don't know enough about them or their politics to not understand, like, why why they don't. I'm not, I'm not saying anything. I'm just saying, like, I would expect that they would support such a thing. But I don't get it. His manifesto was shit. His motives were shit. I didn't been... agree with covering up his manifesto. People, that was stupid because that the manifesto not... was retarded. And the manifesto so, like, sucks. And it also shows like, that he's in. They... So his, his co host is like, yeah, killing Muslims, those, those mud slimes is based. But the manifesto was like bad optics. And now he has to like counter that. He's like, likes Jews. He literally said, Jews in Israel aren't my yeah. enemies. Like, right. all right, well, now we got a problem. So did, anyway. Did they, yeah, yeah. I didn't realize they censored his manifesto. He, he literally. They did. They did. Well, they did try and censor it. Like, if you were to like read from it on yeah. YouTube or something, like your videos would get taken down. They they did censor the manifesto. So I'm not. I'm not. You know what I did? It. They censored both. I still to this day I get takedown notices from Hessen in uh, Germany asking me to remove uh, his manifesto. Like just random ass complaints from random countries saying, "Oh, you got to take this down." I they do remember, and, like, and they do that. The right? stuff he said about Jews. I remember someone like trying to make an optics mar an optics argument for his manifesto. Like this guy just like murdered a bunch of people. You're saying, like, his manifesto, like, he should stay away from the Jew problem because I would be too much. <laughs> but anyway, the point being, like, that's what I was referring oh, to with, like, I actually, the worst. There's a couple of funny things yeah. about that. Like, right. there was a, because Brevik also put pro-Zionist shit in his uh -huh. manifesto. But I remember, I remember people telling me he was doing that to, like, make Zionism look bad. And I was like, no, I think it's just because he's a retard. Yeah, I think he's just a right -hoid. I think he's just, I think he's just a psycho I like retard. Did something. Just like Brenton Tarrant. He did something. But, uh. But no, that's what I specifically meant when I mentioned Josh Moon. Like, that whole site. Yeah. Kiwi Farms exists because I think H.A. got taken down for hosting the video. Like, oh, I'm going to host this I video. Mean, so now... So there you go. Now you get... What? Dude, this this shows you, like, this guy has done 1,200 episodes of, like, a political podcast. And he knows so little about everything he talks about. How do you take his opinions on... Po like, you can look this up in 30 seconds and figure out why the site exists. Like, why why would you not... Why would you take this guy... And his opinion seriously, because it's like his his foundation of his knowledge about like the world and politics is less well researched than like the first paragraph of like a Wikipedia entry. And like he's gonna he's gonna pretend that he has some kind of insight to the the way that the world works and how the white man is gonna take back America from the Jews and shit. Like, buddy, you're fucking dumb. <laughs> you're fucking retarded.
Thanks for watching this clip. This is Willow. Remember to like and subscribe.